I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. We're in store for a very warm and very dry week here across uh, southern Ontario. We're now getting to the point where we could use a good soaking of rain. It just doesn't look like it's going to be coming our way here over the next week and a half, maybe even two weeks. Yeah, we've got a big blocking pattern going on into the atmosphere, and it was producing some heavier rain for areas across the prairie provinces. And now we're just hoping that you get one of those downpours that comes over to your over your yard or garden so that you can save on a day of watering because it is going to be hot and taxing on the plants this week. Looks like a few of those thunderstorms still popping up into eastern Ontario are starting to fizzle out. It's 31 right now, and it feels like about 34 to 35 here in the city, and we're going to continue continue with humidex values in the mid to lower 30s. Now, during the day tomorrow, there is some rain chances. They just aren't very widespread. They're going to be fairly localized, and it has to do with forming along the lake breeze boundaries. Could see an isolated thunderstorm forming with it, but it's not sort of widespread drought breaking type of rain. And I think we'll see it again on Wednesday, and but we'll likely miss most of it here in Toronto. So if you got a tea time during the day tomorrow across the GTA, unless you're up toward the north, you could likely get away with a completely dry day. Otherwise, one of those lake breeze showers could form, but it's going to be hot. So make sure you uh, continue to stay hydrated and you have a lot of that uh, SPF on because we're looking at plenty of sunshine. UV index is going to be high on the scale there. So no issues uh, in terms of the patio other than trying to keep cool. Hopefully a nice cool beverage will help you out. Looks like a great week to uh, cut the grass if it's still alive. Mine's already starting to turn brown. So temperatures are going to be basically lower 30s, lower to mid 30s over the next few days and gradually getting warmer once we get past Canada Day. Uh, looks like we'll go through a stretch of weather from 32 to 33 all the way in to the first part of next week. Those humid X values relatively low for temperatures like that. So it is going to be sort of a little bit of a less humid heat that we'll be dealing with. That's a check on your forecast.